Here is a method that I used to remove the air from the master cylinder of my clutch linkage on my Ford Ranger. For preparations, you will need one can of DOT 3 brake fluid, one 5 foot length of quarter inch rubber hose with a tape around one end for a tighter fit and the clutch bleeder screw, and one end cut off at an angle. Also find your 5 16 inch box wrench to loosen the clutch bleeder screw and find a glass jar you can use as a bleeder container. The key to this procedure is to prepare a plastic turkey baster with a small tip glued and taped at the end. The tip comes from an AutoZone brake bleeder kit and add to this a hose clamp that will fit around the baster bulb. I also use both some Loctite glue and some electrical tape to secure the tip on the turkey baster so it doesn't leak. Remove the bulb from the turkey baster, fill with brake fluid, and then keeping it upside down, attach the bulb to the turkey baster and secure with a hose clamp. Keep it upside down and put it near the clutch fluid reservoir along with your can of brake fluid and also remove the cover from the clutch, clutch fluid reservoir. Now find the clutch bleeder screw on the transmission bell housing on the driver's side and loosen it with a 5 16 box wrench to about one turn and note that brake fluid starts to drip out. Immediately attach the prepared rubber hose to the clutch bleeder screw and route the other end of the hose to a glass bleeder jar that has about one inch of fluid at the bottom. Make sure that the rubber hose stays at the bottom of the bleeder jar. While observing the clutch reservoir level, have an associate pump the clutch pedal at a steady rate of maybe one pump or so every one or two seconds and then observe the reservoir level. If it never moves while pumping the clutch pedal and no bubbles appear at the bleeder jar, then you have air in the master cylinder. If it does show that the clutch pedal is working, then you have other problems. While continuing to pump the clutch pedal, place the turkey baster tip tightly into the bottom of the clutch reservoir hole Press the bulb to inject brake fluid into the master cylinder and look for air bubbles to appear in the bleeder jar. Once the bubbles start, remove the turkey baster and maintain the fluid level in the reservoir by adding fluid while continuing to pump the clutch pedal. Watch for a big drop in the reservoir level at first, but once the system is free of air, the level drops much more slowly to almost nothing. Make a few more clutch pedal pumps and then hold the clutch pedal all the way down. Tighten the clutch bleeder screw at the transmission housing. Don't let air in the system. Remove the hose and bleeder jar and then release the clutch pedal. Top off the reservoir level and then pump the clutch pedal several, several times. At first there will be no pressure, but then the pressure builds up and your clutch should now be in working condition. Check the reservoir level again and put the reservoir cap back on and you're finished. If this doesn't work, you may have other problems besides air in the master cylinder. You may want to check the transmission fluid, noting that some Rangers use automatic transmission fluid in a manual transmission. The next culprit would be the slave cylinder, especially if you're losing fluid, or it could possibly be the master cylinder.